Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the US dollar index for Thursday, December the 2nd, 2010. Well, a continuation of the downtrend and yesterday we had a uh, change of trend to the downside with the candle making a lower high and a lower low and today we have another candle continuing that trend in the first time frame to the downside. We have another candle making a lower high and a lower low. Now, uh, yesterday we highlighted this area around 80.4 that offered uh, itself as potential support, but the market pretty much blew that away, and we had a bearish close outside of that area. The market found virtually no support down around that area, and the bears once again have closed this market in control. They did lose a little bit of commitment at the end of the day, and we can see the small shadow on the bottom here with a little bit of buying coming in, but the buying wasn't enough for the bulls to close the market in control. The bears maintain control of the market. Now the market is still trading up above the Ichimoku cloud and we can see we had the bullish breakout uh, a few days ago and uh, that was quite a bullish uh, day and the market traded up to test the resistance around 81.4. Now we're coming back to test support down around the cloud. The top of the cloud which is at roughly 79.85 should uh, be an area where the market uh, will uh, potentially find support. Uh, we could also find support anywhere through the cloud. So we have a very thick area of the cloud down through here, extending all the way down through to around 77.80. We also have the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen trading within the cloud, and they will uh, offer support to the market. The Tenkan Sen is trading at 79.70.5, and the Kijun Sen is trading at 78.53.5. Now the market is trading up above both of those indicators and uh, that suggests that the market is bullish in the medium term and fast term time frames as well. What's interesting here is the Kijun Sen turning flat and that turned flat a few days ago and when that turns flat market uh, price action tends to be attracted back towards there and that's exactly what's happened here over the two previous days. So there is a possibility that the market will continue in the downtrend but what we need to do is watch for any bullishness coming in down around this 80 level which is around number and then just below there at the top of the cloud around 79.85 roughly and just into the cloud around 79.70 so um, the low of the current candle should be watched as well for any potential continuation of the lower high and lower low and if the market does trend up uh, obviously the high of the previous candle at 81 and then certainly at 81.4 which was this uh, major swing high that should be watched as well.